all this beauty. We want you to be able to walk into art. I have to get some breath. <laughs> we just ran here from the trail. It's, it's so both cool. getting into training and the image, which leaves me breathless. The design of this was inspired by the Women's March in New York. Our fight is far from over. This is absolutely beautiful, and the fact that it represents women that have made a difference in all of our communities. And in painting. Thank you. It looks like me. It does. It really does. <laughs> because this has been an experience like none other for me, so thank you. Okay, so welcome to the Farmington Canal Greenway. Uh, my name is Kwejo Dai, and I'm the visual and artist and muralist for this project. We are here uh, this evening at 400 Goodrich Street. We've been out here since about 2.30 and, and it's just about 6.30. Uh, this is our wall behind me here. It is an 18 foot by roughly 106 foot wall. And it, we're, we're trying to make the bike path more of like an art trail. So you can get your bikes, get your running shoes on, bring your friends, and uh, get, in, get empowered by the ladies that we're about to paint up here. We're closing up shop and the rain is coming. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, I feel it. Life. It's raining. But you got so much done today. Oh, we'll see how much of it ends up on the ground. We have one more woman to trace tonight, and that's uh, the doctor. We have like a, a Latina woman here. We've got a woman from West Africa, Ghana. Uh -huh. This is a woman from the Balkans. Okay. Um, over here, we've got a woman that represents Europe. Okay. And we have a, it's... And the whole purpose of all the women is to... Uh... To empower. This is a women's empowerment mural. Okay. Because there's a lot of misogyny, a lot of sexism, and we need something to kind of have something positive in the community to lift people up. But, um, yo, what are you doing right now for the community? It's excellent. That we need some positive things around here. She looks good? She looks okay, yes, Bobby? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. No, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for, sh we were doing some puppetry yesterday. My birds, the, the, my birds are my favorite though. The dove, the pigeon. Oh, it's so elegant. Yeah, so graceful, yeah, so graceful. Um, but the light, today I was met with the Stetson librarian, Diane Brown. Um, she's been the New Hallville librarian for a really long time. And I'm going to put her on this wall here. Um, maybe, maybe we could like squeeze in one person. And if not, then I'll just, I'll just add the, the next five over here. And then we'll just continue the progress yeah. along the wall. But if you know of anyone, let me know. I'm to think of uh, any old principles or anything that was good. Okay. Yeah. You guys take care. Hey, what's up? Good. <laughs> good, good. How are you? I'm getting you. How's good. it going? It's going well. It's going well. You want it is looking to great. You like it? Yes. You guys take care. Yeah, we're putting in the pink in. We're putting in some purple. If you want? It looks amazing. You guys want to paint? You're welcome to paint. Holy shit! And if you're chilling, then no. It looks fantastic. No, really, it does. Thank you. Uh, anyone who touches the wall, um, I, I'm going to need your name because you cannot have collaborative art making without gratitude. And we want to make sure everyone who touches the wall has their name written down so that at the very end of the project, we can give thanks to everyone. So we'll see you tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we've been working on this project for 33 days. Okay. And any volunteer from the community is welcome. So I'm going to give you this purple yes. brush. All right. And yes. I'm going to put you over here. 
I want to do something uh, constructive in the community, so I uh, asked the, the help the guy asked me to help me help you know, help him to, uh, to finish this up. So I'm going to do it, and I think it's a uh, it's very, very uh, it's a good idea. I would say. A lot of beautification yeah, projects yeah, yeah. happen I just, I like to in more privileged communities. They don't tend to happen in marginalized <laughs> black and brown communities. So um, it's just exciting to know that someone has invested in this community and 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 then you know shouted out women who are you know who like made change. Yeah, and it's right on the canal. It's gorgeous. Yeah, which is awesome. And you know, and for you, it's like that to white space. like this. You get ice cream? I see all oh, boys, uh, no, not boys, not boys, yeah. girls, all women hold a fire. And you talked about like a sign of like power, right? Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me about that? And why you felt that? Well, tell me about that and why you said that. Because um, they all got Bibles and books and stuff. And she holding a baby. How did that make you feel though, to see that? Did it make you feel good, good to see that? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because it's showing that, um, what you call it, that woman also has power too. It's the woman has a heart of a nation. And I think when you just embrace that, your nation, that includes your neighbors, it includes the people down the street. And that is born out of our nature, to nurture. What we bring to one another increases us. What we bring to one another changes us. It makes us greater, it makes us more powerful. So it does change us, but for the good. And if we get there, America will finally be great for once and for all, not just for a select few. Did you do this? Yes. This is so cool. Great to be back. Ned Lamont, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming down today. Your name is more interesting than mine. <laughs> <laughs> My name comes from Ghana. Um, so this is the Women's Empowerment Mural. You know, art is an amazing way to express yourself. Sometimes words don't make it. Yeah, it's, it's a means for healing. You know, and working harder to make sure that we can compensate for the lack of funding on all levels is a huge part of my job. Because we're, we're doing this all with, with our hearts. We're doing this all with, with minimal financial help. So if we can get more people to, to get on board with it, I'm sure more will be possible. Yeah, I like art on the outside walls, not on the inside walls. <laughs> yeah, well, if we have to have walls, I, I prefer to have color on them. <laughs> you know, if we have to have them. Pretty <laughs> cool, this is great, thanks. I remember it. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Okay, How long do you think it'll take to finish it? Probably under two weeks. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Come back and see what it's done. There's a lot of history with the Farmington Canal Greenway. It was an actual canal where boats would go. They paved it over and it's got this great trail where people are exercising. So, so it's not in a, a place where there's high visibility. It's not in like a downtown setting. It's not in a place where there's tons of traffic. Like if you're gonna really get to engage this mural, you gotta be on the trail. So you can get your bikes, get your running shoes on, bring your friends and uh, get, in, get empowered by the ladies that we're about to paint up here. Summer, but like it's been bits and pieces like throughout different stages of the mural but to have all these people here at once like really reacting it's like hard for me to take it all in. <laughs> so it looks like me. It, you are so glamorous in I'm life and in painting. Thank you. It looks like me. It does. It really does. All the people that did a lot of work are standing in the back right? there too. I see you all. My name is Stephen Kremenendis. I'm with Neighborhood Housing Services. Um, I'm really not going to say very much today except welcome and I'm going to turn it over to Lisa Fernandez from the Farmington 
Canal Rail to Trail Association. So here's our vision, and already it's turning into reality right here with all this beauty. We want you to be able to walk into art, to bike into art. This, the vision here is to create an arts corridor in the, in the New Haven section of the trail. So, Cuejo, it's up to you now. Wow. Cuejo is the Canadian team. I can't start to say anything without saying first, thank you. I could not have done this alone. Like, it would be impossible. I'd be here painting in the snow. We had over 150 volunteers um, from both Hamden, from New Haven. We had kids of all ages paint on this. The design of this was inspired by the Women's March in New York, about being angry about the way our women have been treated in this country, being angry even right now, seeing what bookended this process, starting with uh, the election of our president to Kavanaugh going into the Supreme Court. Our fight is far from over. This mural is, is, is finished, but it is a landmark for people to make sure that we are together. Yeah, I think it's really beautiful to be connected to and, and see some of the women who I spend time with and admire and get to see their work in action in my everyday life here and hopefully they'll be recognized in their community for both the work they do and their faces to represent the more powerful work that's being done right now. This is Florence Caldwell. She is one of the cornerstones of this community. Amen. She's been on the PTO for Lincoln Bassett for a really long time. Come up here. Um, and she's in the turquoise. Yeah. With the purple book in the corner here. Stand under my <laughs> <laughs> It's right here. This is Hanifa Washington. Who, <laughs> who was just awarded a Arts Council Award for 2018. <laughs> who is in the orange. You want to stand under your okay, picture? I'll stand yeah, under yeah. stand under your picture. <laughs> And <laughs> we have Katie Jones here. And she's under her portrait. Katie Jones is a social justice advocate and activist. And the green dress right here is Diane Brown. She's a pillar of this community. She's all the way on the end. She is the only woman that's actually on the new and this is the baby. <laughs> so Tiffany is our representation of motherhood, right? So I put out a call on Facebook for a pregnant woman, and Tiffany was very pregnant at the time, and she posed in this beautiful burgundy dress and she has since had this. Oh my god! <laughs> Her name is Independence. Her name oh. is Independence! <laughs> so, this is an example of unity and what unity can do. So, when you look at it, please remember all the hands, all the hearts, all the people that care, all the people that took time, all the people that gave their resources so that this is here for all of us. This mural is for you, this mural is for me, this is our artwork. Thanks to Tony Giamona. Where is she? My assistant? Where is she? She's always hiding. That one. Her and I have been out here for five months. Since June 4th. We started June 4th was when we first put primer on this wall. 17 gallons of primer later. And thousands of dollars of paint later. And 150 people later. And we have this. So this is for you. And enjoy. And thank you so, so very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.